What up, y'all? Chargers Truther coming to you July 25th. And, you know, we just got some epic news. Justin Herbert became the highest paid player in NFL history today. We re-signed him to a five-year extension. We're going to keep him through two, uh, until 2029. So we're going to have him for another seven years until, until uh, you know, almost 2030. Um, some just fabulous news, excellent news, some of the best news um, I've heard in a long time, really. Uh, it was raining over here. I'm still in Mexico. It was pouring rain. I was stuck in a little building uh, trying to wait it out when I heard this news, and it just made my day way better. Like I felt like it was the sun was shining bright right in that moment. So, so happy to hear this. Justin Herbert got a five-year deal, uh, $262.5 million, $133.7 million guaranteed, 190. 3.7 in injury guarantees just in case uh, you know he gets injured and we cut him uh, doubt that would ever happen but um, and he's basically getting 52.5 million per year um, and this is the biggest contract that has ever been given in the NFL history um, on a yearly basis I believe um, Lamar Jackson had just signed it uh, one few maybe like a month ago or so for five years at um, 260 million. Justin Herbert got 262, so it's like a little bit more than Lamar. Hertz got five years, 255, a little bit more than um, Hertz as well. Um, but we all know that Justin Herbert deserved this. Uh, we need him. I give a lot of uh, credit to Tom Telesco. You know, I'm usually very critical of our GM just because he hasn't won much. He, you know, we we've just kind of disappointed a lot uh, under Tom Telesco. But this is something that had to get done. Just the thought. Even though we, you know, really weren't afraid that Justin Herbert was going to leave, we knew that this was going to get done. Just the thought that there was even a one percent chance that Justin Herbert uh, was going to leave us, um, it was enough to scare me at least personally. Uh, that that would be a tragedy. You just can never let that happen. Could not let Justin Herbert get away. Got to do whatever this guy wants. Uh, make him the highest paid player. No brainer in my opinion. Um, yeah, Joe Burrow may, might uh, get more money. Patrick Mahomes, if his contract was up, might get more money. Um, but in this moment right now, Justin Herbert means the world to us, means the world to all the fans, to the franchise. Uh, and this is a very good day for the Chargers. So hats off to Tom Telesco. Hats off to the Chargers uh, organization uh, getting this deal done. Retaining Justin Herbert, um, the leader of our team, it pretty much... Um, guarantees us as um, a Super Bowl contender as long as we continue making the right moves, surround this guy with the right talent. Uh, quarterback is the most important position in the NFL, in probably sports maybe. Um, and it's not that easy to find a franchise quarterback. So we've been so lucky to go from Philip Rivers to Justin Herbert now with no years of transition really. We only had Tyrod Taylor for one game uh, in between. And uh, just so blessed we are to um, have Justin Herbert on our team to have drafted him. Um, and that's, you know, just that quarterback position is now just taken care of. Uh, and now we can move on to other issues that we, you know, need to fix. It's still a team game. Quarterback can't just do everything for us. Um, I'd like to see us, you know, now... You know, we've drafted offensive linemen the past two years in first in the first round. Uh, Rashawn Slater, left tackle, and Zion Johnson, uh, the guard. And that shows you, obviously, how much Justin Herbert means to us. We need to protect this guy. And I'd like to see this team now go out and do more to protect him. Build a fortress around him. Continue to invest in this offensive line and the run game. I think, again, the run game is what's going to make us a Super Bowl contender, a real Super Super Bowl contender, because once you're hitting them in the run, and then Justin Herbert's throwing it, you know, when it's convenient, not out of necessity, we're going to be absolutely dominant. We're going to be killers in the NFL, really. Um, and the run game is also going to let Justin Herbert have a rest. He's not going to be throwing the ball 50 times a game, 40 times a game. It's going to cut down to a much more reasonable number, meaning Herbert's, you know, the fatigue on him is going to be lower, and yeah, we're paying him all this money, but it's a team game again, and um, you know, we got the most important piece, and that's really what this video is about, uh, just just total happiness right now for, as a Chargers fan, uh, entire Chargers 
you know, fan base, organization, everyone um, involved with the Chargers is extremely happy, I'm sure, uh, to have this guy until 2029, the foreseeable future. I don't even, I'm going to be, you know, I'm 28 now, I'm going to be like, what, uh, 35? I can't even imagine. I might have some kids by then, might be married by then, <clears throat> I'll be a whole other person by then, you know, <laughs> I don't know, but it's hard to see the future, but um, just so happy that this happened. Hats off, Tom Telesco, good job. Um, good job to get this done. Most important thing to our team, most important player to this entire franchise. And uh, just couldn't be happier, you know. Just totally deserved Herbert breaking all the records, you know, on pace to break all the records. I already think that Herbert is a Hall of Fame, is a future Hall of Famer. I know that's maybe too early, too early to say that, but I don't really care. You can mark my words right now. I think Justin Herbert will finish his career in the Hall of Fame and maybe, probably, actually, as the greatest Chargers quarterback of all time. Um, and that's just me trying to use what I've seen and project that into the future. I don't think that's actually a crazy thing to say. I think that's actually a pretty reasonable thing to say. So we're hoping that Justin Herbert can bring us our first Super Bowl. That's what this is really about. We're trying to get to the Super Bowl. Um, it's not just about being a good team. It's about winning our first championship, getting that Lombardi trophy, seeing if Justin Herbert can finally do what the quarterbacks before him, you know, Dan Fouts, Philip Rivers, Stan Humphrey, who went the furthest, Stan Humphrey went the furthest, made a, made a Super Bowl. Um, if Justin Herbert can do what none of them could do before and win, win it and actually make us champions and uh, change our future, change our culture, change our history, just change everything. Um, just like Drew Brees did with the Saints, winning them their first championship. And now the Saints are no longer, a, the, you know, the laughing stock of the NFL. They're actually a respectable team. Uh, they have that history of even just that one Super Bowl. It changes everything. Um, turn us into winners. Turn this into a winning franchise, a winning organization. You know, that's what we're trying to do. It takes special people. Justin Herbert is a special person, special player. And, uh, you know, just I just think he's like the prototypical quarterback. Um, no ego, no um, nothing. He's, you know, there's nothing you could really say against him. Uh, you know, yeah, he gave up that lead uh, in that wild card game. But, you know, um, it's going to happen. And, you know, no player is perfect. But, you know, he gives it his all puts our team on his back and is the only reason that we were even in that game at all, you know? So, um, yeah, just love Justin Herbert. So deserved. He now goes from a very wealthy man to an incredibly wealthy man, his whole family taken care of. Um, could only imagine what that must feel like, you know? Uh, yeah, probably never will, but <laughs> just happy for the guy. I think he deserves it. He's got a, he's a special talent, special person. And Justin Herbert, um, if you're watching this, which uh, would be really amazing. I know you're not, but um, I'm just very happy for you. And I think you earned it, man. I think you earned it. And let's go win this Super Bowl. Let's build the team around Justin Herbert. Defense, offense, run, run game, stop the run. Come back to football fundamentals and um, hit the other team in the mouth. Get nasty. Surround Justin Herbert with dogs. And uh, just become a powerful team. But, of course, quarterback is the most important position. Justin Herbert is maybe the greatest quarterback in the NFL right now. And maybe the greatest Chargers quarterback to ever live. So, July 25th, 2023 was a historic day for Chargers franchise. It was a good day. Um, and couldn't really be happier, at least in this moment. There's more to be done, but right now... Very happy. Justin Herbert is a Charger for a long time. So that's all we got to say about that, I guess. I don't know how else. So I just dropped my light. Um, <clears throat> not really sure how else to end this video, but a shot of mezcal. I'm still in Mexico right now. Um, so cheers to Justin Herbert's contract. Yeah, that tastes like um, a top of the league offense, passing offense, and dare I say playoffs, dare I say playoff wins, bolt up.
Yeah.